So this build is very similar to the um, five inch reaper uh, frame that I did, the, the regular X. So we're not gonna go through the full build of this quad because you can refer to that video. Um, but for this video, I wanted to go through kind of how I tune my quads and show you guys some flight footage and you know, how I adjust the tuning and then show you what that tuning actually does to the flight character characteristics of the quad. track set up here, uh, do some laps and then we'll come back in and, and see how, see if we can do some adjustments here. Okay. Alright, so this is my first actual flight with this frame. Um, just can, kind of getting used to the flight characteristics of the stretch axe compared to the regular axe. Definitely, um, so this is the, the beta flight defaults and there's definitely a lot of uh, prop wash that we're going to need to tune out on, on these hard whip turns and split S's. Um, P feels pretty good though on the straight line, not too much shaking, but um, I think we need to bump P up a little bit more to kind of get the fly more true. Yeah, we're going to bump P up on all three. And then we'll bump D up quite a bit. Let's try that out. All right, this is round two. Bump the P up a little bit, bump the D up a little bit. All right, so we turn P up. So what that's gonna do is make your quad fly more true. And by that I mean, um, going to hold the line a lot better so if, you're, if your if your is too low you're going to notice that your quad flies almost like it's drunk like it's kind of going side to side it's hard to keep it on a straight line um, as they say uh, when your quad is on rails that that just means that your quad's tuned right and um, you know, the first thing you want to do is get that p dialed in so this is getting looking a little better not as uh, wobbly um, definitely holding its line a lot better All right, so we're getting somewhere that felt a little better. I'm gonna bump, continue to bump up the P and the D. Let's see where that gets us here. Okay. Let's try going 52, 53, 68, 86. We'll bump up D, 28. All right, let's try that out. All right, battery number three, bump P up a little bit. Up a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry about my GoPro uh, lens got pretty scratched up the other day. All right, so this is uh, this is with some higher P on all the axes and also a little bit more D. So you're gonna notice that the the wobble on the uh, hard turns is minimized a little bit. So we're gonna need to get that up a little more on the D. 
um, but it's definitely holding its line a lot better, um, which is going to allow for faster, faster lines, so you're not going to be fighting the quad as much. Um, so it's looking a little better, we're going to keep going from here. He's feeling pretty locked in. We're gonna bump D up a little bit. So we'll try 31, 31. And drop these rates a little bit. Save that. And then we're gonna bump the eye up just a little bit. Alright, it's battery number four. Got a little competition. I'll follow you. Alright, okay. All right, so this is the fourth battery. We're getting D a little bit more locked in. We turned it up just a touch more. And um, there's still a little bit of that wobble on the turn. So we're going to have to keep bumping that up until we tune that out. Um, P is looking good though. We're getting those nice straight lines. Uh, looking like it's on rails pretty much. Um, so we're going to keep, keep playing around with D a little bit and try to tune out that prop wash. So that's some good chase there with the Rosfeld 5 inch. Definitely a test of the uh, Reaper's potential. That's a fast frame. Alright, so we're gonna bump the D up a little bit more up to 33. And um, I'm not really sure what I does, but let's bump it up. And then I'm gonna turn the yaw P down a little bit. Okay, so we're at 53, 68, 84 for pitch, 30 for P, 33, 33 for D. All right, so it's looking a lot better on these tight turns. Uh, definitely still a little bit of a wobble, but uh, we're getting there. So we're gonna bump D up a little more in the next round. But uh, you can see, just getting that D locked in really helps you hold your line and, and get a faster line into gates. Actually, uh, not fighting that wobble. And, getting offline. Alright, this is feeling pretty good. We're going to turn the uh, yaw P down just a little bit more. Try to tune out that prop wash. That was a good race. Second full throttle. You know what, we're going to turn P down on pitch a little bit too. And we're going to bump up the eye a little bit. Alright, so we turned I up a little bit, and that's going to help you with, um, you know, when you keep your quad a command, it's going to take that command and uh, not deviate from that, so that's going to also help you keep going your line, just as, as pitch and, uh, I'm sorry, P and uh, D will. Alright, this isn't the dry stuff. So that tune felt actually pretty good. Um, I think P's dialed in, we turned it down just a touch in the last run. D feels good, we didn't change that. Um, I'm gonna bump I up just a touch more on all three axes and uh, get to go. These are from uh, my buddies at Think Tank. These little battery pouches are awesome. <laughs> Turn I up just a little bit more. That felt pretty good though. Oh, I already got grass stains all over this thing. Son of a sea biscuit. Let's bump I up just a touch. Alright, so we bumped up the eye and now it's really starting to hold that line. Um, so this is really going to help you with you know, taking that line through a gate. And lining up the next gate after that and kind of keeping that line, it's not going to deviate. Um, so it's really feeling pretty locked in. I think we're almost there. Uh, we're going to keep doing a little bit more tuning. Try to get some of that prop wash out, but it's looking good. Alright, I think we're almost
almost there. Still got a little prop wash. Um, what do you usually do to clean up prop wash? Um, D, right? D, right? D, bump it up D, right? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty high right now, but we'll keep going up. I don't want to turn P down if I don't have to. Alright, let's try this one last thing. We'll go 30, 38. So we just bumped D up uh, three points on rolling pitch. <laughs> Try um, bumping D up just a little bit more here. Right, so we bumped yaw, P down, and roll and pitch D up two, point, uh, two points to 40. <laughs> So that was in the right direction. We moved Yapi down just a touch and we bumped up the uh, roll and pitch P. So let's go ahead and um, turn down Yapi a little bit more and we're gonna bump, uh, let's keep D the same. So we went down by one on, roll, on uh, pitch and Yah. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this tune. Uh, on the, the hard whips, uh, there's no no prop wash, uh, it's really holding its line well. No wobble, uh, it's not deviating off its line, so I'm really happy with the way this thing's flying. And uh, I'm glad I spent the time to actually tune a quad for once. Whoops. All right, I think she's tuned. So um, we bumped up the, or turned down um, roll and yaw P a little bit at the end there instead of bumping up, keep, on, keep bumping up the D. Um, so we ended up with 40 and 40 on the D and um, it's flying really great. So let me just get this gate set back up here. You break it, you fix it. That's the rule at our meetup. Alright, so we'll fix this gate. Yeah, this thing felt really great. Um, sweeping around that tattoo flag and diving down. It's just something about the stretch, like the roll is much tighter, much more controlled. And you don't need to use as much camera angle because the forward flight's a little bit uh, more natural with it. So, um, let's see. Yeah, this, so this has, this quad has the same components as my, my other Reaper, which is the SFPV edition. Um, with the Zeus 20 BLLES, the MRM Mantis flight controller, and um, DYS race edition 2205, 2300. So this thing feels awesome. I'm definitely gonna be racing this one down in LA. Uh, I'm gonna go down and hang out with the Tilt Squad guys. Jeff Cali drone, shout out. Shab and Datter. Um, so yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna be racing this guy. The tune feels great, it feels locked in, and um, Larry said it sounds good, so I'm happy. Sure does. That's Larry excited. Yeah.